Hey there, this is Guava Moment, showing you how to make an animated GIF. This is a skill not a lot of people seem to know, but it's quite fantastically easy. Okay, so the first thing you want is, let's say you're making a GIF of a movie clip, you want that movie. So, let's say you've got your LP here. Um, I know a lot of people, or there's ways that you can download YouTube videos, but I've honestly had a lot of success just recording the screen with uh, Camtasia. So let's... Uh, Define this area here. Um, normally, YouTube videos are 640 by 480, but let's say I'm slightly retarded and overshoot because we can fix that later. Okay, let's record our movie. Okay, okay we have our movie that we need to make a GIF out of. First thing we want to do is edit it slightly. Use recording dimensions. And uh, just what we want to do is, oops, just trim off the beginning and the end of the parts we know we don't need. About there. Okay. Now Camtasia has an option to produce animated GIFs. It's not exactly the greatest thing, but it is very helpful for what we're going to do next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, let's spell test right. Okay. Uh, here's a part I cut out of the video. Okay, Camtasia's finished making our GIF. Uh, what we want to use is a program called GIF Movie Gear. Find this. This program is great. Okay, so it has our GIF. You can get a little preview here. We don't need that right now. Now. It shows all of the frames of the animation in this GIF. You'll notice that Camtasia has already optimized this. However, we need, we need to do some trimming to this, so we should probably unoptimize that right now. Uh, which makes the GIF 7 megabytes. Uh, now what makes this program great is its flexibility. You can do anything you want to these frames. Let's see, uh, you can change the animation time, you can change the number of colors in each frame, you can offset the frame if you want. First thing we want to do is crop because I intentionally made this bigger than it needs to be. There we go. I'm gonna get this down to 640 by 480. Okay, we've cropped it to size. Boom, it's now perfectly cropped. Yeah, it's still way the hell too big, so a lot of the lot of the work that goes into GIFs is really just into the optimizing. Uh, just click all of these things for now. It gives you the best thing. Okay, it makes it three megs. Okay, that's still way too big. If you want to upload it to Waffle Images, say it needs to be under a megabyte. The next best thing to do is resize. I can resize everything to 320 by 240. Boom, just like that. Still one... What is it? Just over a meg. What? Whoa. Oh dear. Um, let me. F before we resize, let's unoptimize. That's a good lesson. Always unoptimize before you do anything. Because weird things happen otherwise. Uh, optimize. Okay. The next easiest way to reduce the size of a GIF is to trim out some frames. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we can cut out a couple of frames at the end. It's as easy as clicking on them, mashing delete a couple times. Optimize once more. Uh, not quite. Uh, let's knock off a frame or two at the beginning. One more. Okay, now it's under a meg. It's kind of nice to, for the last frame if the animation is not seamless. Uh, extend it a little bit. Instead of 6 one hundredth of a second, I'll bump it up to 60. And yeah. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Another way to reduce the amount of, uh, or the size of a GIF is to reduce the number of colors. Camtasia defaults to 128, which is way, way too much. At 64 colors, you probably won't even notice the difference. At uh, 32, it starts getting a little bit washed out, and just forget about it, 16 on. It's just 
you might not be able to tell in this video, but this one over here is a lot more grayed and washed out. It's kind of ugly. It can just stay at 64. Saves us a little bit. Okay, um, that's basically all there is to it. I highly recommend everyone gets this program and play around with some of the things it can do, like uh, you can make in reverse order, ping pong, that's where it plays forward and then reverses. Uh, you can do weird things, like flip it vertically if you were, I don't know. Gift Movie Gear is an awesome program, basically, is the moral of this video. Everyone should get it. Oh, another cool thing it can do, if you have a frame here, you can open it up in MS Paint and doodle on it, and it'll save it if you want to do some frame manipulations. This is really a fantastic program. Uh, another thing it can even do is it can output animated PNGs, which I don't know, this is the only program I found that can do that, but it has some kind of problems. The format itself isn't the greatest for now. But yeah, GIF Movie Gear. Everyone should check it out.